So just go ahead and download the Visual Studio Code for your operating system. For instance, I have downloaded it for Windows and it's available for Mac as well. So once downloaded, all you need to do is open it up and here you can see that I've created a directory called PHP Demo. Now the first thing that I'll be doing is going to this extensions icon and here I need to install two things. First is the PHP server extension and the other one is the PHP debug. So these two extensions are required. Let's go ahead and install this. You can also install this PHP autocomplete but Visual Studio Code actually provides you the IntelliSense for PHP. So this one is optional if you feel like you can go ahead and install this. Now here you can just click on reload and uh, the editor will reload with the installed extensions as you can see over here. Now PHP server if you open it up over here it will have the following settings port relative URL and browser. Now if you have to customize this browser to let's say Chrome by default it's set to Firefox. So if I have to do that all I need to do is go to file then go to preferences go to settings and here look for the following setting php server dot browser so inside this I'll be going and saying php server and there you go this one just click on the pencil icon and say copy settings here you can see that we are saving it for user settings if you'll do it for workspace settings it will be only saved for that particular project that you're working on but saving it to user settings will ensure that no matter what project you're working on this remains available across all your projects. So here I'll say Chrome and that's all. Save this. So the first thing uh, that I'll be doing over here after installing these extensions is querying a PHP file to show you how to run it using Visual Studio Code. Let's call it as index.php and here let's begin PHP and you can see that if I have to do something like echo the IntelliSense is coming up and all I need to do is say hello world that's pretty much it just save it and you can see this icon coming up over here you can click this one and it will serve the project right in your Chrome browser there you go hello world so in this one we covered how to install the extensions required to run PHP pages.